Historically, industrial vacuum applications have evolved through OEM machinery. That means that a company was building machinery for a specific process, and part of that process was driven by or improved using vacuum. So most vacuum pump companies therefore evolved as OEM suppliers of compact and simple machines which fulfilled that function while meeting OEM pricing demands. Take a typical user. Let's say, for example, a food processing company who uses a tumbling machine to marinate their product. They might buy some machinery and with it would come a vacuum pump. And while the company is still small, they only need that one pump. But as production grows, suddenly we see multiple lines. And furthermore, we start to commit to more automation on supporting processes. So now it's not just the tumbling product. We have vacuum forming of trays, vacuum packing of the food, vacuum handling on the labeling machines. All of these processes using similar specified vacuum pumps taking up space close to the production machinery and needing preventative maintenance schedules and servicing because if they have a fault, the whole line grinds to a halt. So what is the future state? A centralized system supplying the fourth utility, vacuum. The principle of a centralized system is to balance multiple vacuum loads into a single stable demand, provide redundancy to reduce the risk of shutdown, and move all the machinery into a dedicated utility room, all in a similar manner to what is normal today for compressed air. These are the three main drivers towards centralization of vacuum. Financial, productivity, and environmental. And each of those can be broken into three strands. Let's start with finance. Energy costs are the single biggest reason to centralize. By balancing the demand and right-sizing equipment, that is not oversizing for any process, but providing the ability to increase production when needed, huge energy savings can be realized. And by removing the pumps from the production hall, we also save by as much as 30% again on the cost of air conditioning because the heat generated by the vacuum pumps can now be ducted directly out of the building. The second is capital. This saving comes from the reduced repeated investment in small point of use OEM machinery, which is designed for the equipment manufacturer, not for the end user. Simple, manageable data about the vacuum requirement allows processes to be optimized and point of use machinery removed. Finally, maintenance costs. By centralizing, we reduce the number and the complexity of spare parts. Nearly eliminate emergency breakdown costs by providing redundancy balanced across the whole operation. And crucially, we can now save by servicing compressor and vacuum equipment together in a single trip by a single technician who knows ahead of time the condition of the pumps thanks to their smart link connectivity. Now let's take productivity, and that starts with flexibility. An integrated centralized manifold handles individual pump down times almost instantly thanks to local equalization, and means vacuum is just on the other side of a valve. No need for lengthy warm up or purge cycles at the machinery. The system dramatically improves flexibility of a lean workshop by enabling capacity to be added into or removed from the operation easily, while rerouting is taken care of as easily as compressed air using the modular airnet system. Then we have the reliability benefits. By moving all the pumps into a utility room, maintenance is much more easily managed and tracked, while redundancy is shared across the whole facility. Finally, the ease of maintenance adds to productivity by removing the need for production shutdowns and simplifying the spares significantly. The final driver is environmental. This is not just about CO2 emissions or wastewater, although those are very important. It also means improving the working environment in a production facility by moving the pumps away from the production line. A central vacuum system reduces the heat and importantly, the noise in a production hall, making safer and more comfortable working environments. It also means much better air quality, 
as new technology significantly reduces oil carryover and removes any exhaust from the working environment. One final note on environmental factors is about the pumps themselves. When an OEM style machine is squeezed under a production line, it's also not happy. Moving the vacuum pump into a utility room improves its environment, leading to better performance, improved maintenance, and much lower total life cycle costs.